Hello everyone, this is Manish and I have come up with another video. In this video, I am going to tell you that how you can secure your Azure Active Directory account using the Fidodo security key. So let's first understand what exactly is the, is the security key. So I have in a position of a PTN K43 security key which looks something like this. You can have a look. So it has a USB-C interface you can, you, you can see over here and it has a fingerprint reader. And this has another other features as well for Bluetooth and the NFC. So I will be going to use with the USB-C. So, so the benefit of having this security key is that you can log into the Azure Active Directory without entering the username and password, which is completely secure because the data stored inside the user credential stored inside is completely encrypted. So there is no chance of that no is that someone will be able to access your user information. So it's completely safe. So uh by default, in Azure Active Directory, the Fido2 security is not enabled, so we have to enable it. So this is what I'm going to show you. But before that, what we have to do is we have to configure the security device. Let's begin. Uh, there are multiple ways to configure your Fido2 security device. One is through your Windows 10 or Windows 11 device, going to the Start menu, Settings, and uh, other another way is to have a Fido2 Manager application, which can be downloaded from the Fido2 website. You can check the you can check the link in the description and it can be done through the chrome browser as well as an extension so i'm going to show you the easiest way through windows settings click on start menu go to settings under account you will be able to see the sign in sign in options in go to the security key here you have to click on the manage so i'm accessing the device for the very first time so i'm going to use my fingerprint so the setup i'm in the windows hello setup over here the first thing is i have to provide a security key pin security pin has been set up now i need to provide the security key fingerprint let's click on the setup so it is asking me to enter the security key pin once done, it is asking you to go through the fingerprint sensor, press it. So you have to do it multiple times to register your fingerprint. So my fingerprint has been registered, so I can go with multiple fingerprints as well. I'm done with that. Let's click on done. Close. Same thing I can do with the Fido2 manager. I have already downloaded the uh, Biopass Fido2 manager. Let's click over here. So I can see my one fingerprint has already been registered. So the same thing what I did from the Windows settings, I can do it from the Biopass P2 manager as well. So the things will be pretty much same, means you are doing the same kind of configuration. So now let's jump to the demo where I will be going to show you how to enable the uh, Fido2 security. Now let's jump to the Azure portal. I'm going to show you how to enable the Fido2 security on the portal. And then we will be doing some configuration so that we can start using the device, security device. Okay, I have logged into the Azure portal, portal.azure.com. Go to Azure Active Directory, under Manage, click on Security. In Security, you have to click on Authentication Methods. So you can see Fido2 Security Key is showing as No. Let's click over here. Enable the option. I'm going with the all users, but if you are going in a production environment, just go with few users by selecting the users or group. So just for demo purpose, I'm selecting all users. Save. I'm done with that. So we have already set the Fido2 security key. Now we need to configure the current user account to use the security key. So for that, you have to open the link. Open new tab and provide this URL, you can find this into the description below. This is where we are going to set the security key, that Fido security key. So under security info, under security info, I can see the existing authentication method which I have used. I'm going to add the new one. Click on add sign method. I have option now, security key. So by default, this option is not available if I haven't enabled this into the Azure portal. So click on the security key, click on add. USB device or NFC device. So my device has is having both the features, but for the simplicity, let me click on the USB device. 
click on next so it's asking for me to touch the button in security key setup click on ok once again click on ok touch your security key over here so I touch the security key so that it can register my account and so that the username and password credentials are saved into the security key now I can name the security key some obvious name which is easy to understand if you have multiple security keys so my security key the credential has username password has been saved so next time if I log into the Azure portal I can use the security key let's see how it goes I'm opening the Azure portal so now this time rather than providing my username I, I can click on sign in options here I have to click on sign in with the security key click on the security key over here I have to touch the security key so I can see that it is the it has authenticated the username password and I'm able to log in so this device can store unlimited username and passwords for for the account which is not only limited to the Azure Active Directory it can be used for other Microsoft account Google and other other stuff so the list is pretty much very big and when we press the security key so it will be showing all credentials so if you have multiple accounts so it will be giving you an option to select it and you will be able to log in successfully thank you so much I hope you like this video